Before we start this episode, there's two videos that you should watch on my channel, and those episodes are... These episodes essentially bring you up to this point, so it is vital for you to watch those two videos before this. And in this episode, I'm going to try and teach you how to use pictures and use them so that they fit wherever you want and essentially be perfect for whatever you're writing and whenever you're writing. So let's get into this video, shall we? For those who haven't seen this episode, I'm going to reteach you how to insert an image. So first things first, go to where you want to insert an image, which this is where I'm going to insert an image. You're going to go to insert on top of here, then you're going to do picture. But we're going to bing for the fact that it has non-copywritten images, and you can use them since and won't be sued which is a win-win. So for my writing, it's going to be about a burning forest, which um, this image uh, fits perfectly, which I'm gonna click on it, then we're gonna click insert, and now we have a perfectly non-copyright uh, image, and we will not be sued for using the image. So let's get into the first thing you should do. How do we edit a picture? So the first things first, we got double click the picture and a, a new tab will appear up here. Make sure not to click any other tab or it will disappear. And if it does disappear, just double click the uh, picture again and the tab should appear. And then you go over here to alt text. This is one of the uh, m most unused buttons in Word, but it is so important. If you're writing an informational or uh, essay, this will essentially tell you what the title of the uh, image and the description of it is. So it helps us know what the image is. So we're gonna just title it the burning forest. Um, forest. And then we're gonna give a small description, the setting in which Arxor is fighting walks which is the names of my characters, and they were fighting in the book. So now we have a title and a description. So if we ever, if we close this, we click the alt text once again, we're going to get this. Now we know what this image is about. Uh, the next thing we're going to tell you about is borders. Borders are very important to make it look more, like it appears more. So if we click, click, click it again, and then we click the drop bar button. We're going to have all of these. Which I'm going to do this. Which is going to be a thick matte uh, black border. And as it loads we can see that now it has a border. Which in my opinion it looks a lot better. Like you can see it looks a lot better. But now, as now we're going to make sure that it fits between the text. So you're going to have to click on one of these circles and make sure it goes a tad bit smaller. Just so that it doesn't take all of the Word document. And then you're going to click and drag this to wherever you want it, which I'm going to do this. And then if I do this, which I'm going to do square right, as you can see, the text is now here. And it goes down as the image is right there. It looks a lot better, especially whenever you're writing a newspaper or Word document, that you can see the text and the image, which describes and gives you more depth within the picture. Of course, if you don't like um, using the circles, you can always use crop or rotate, which is, uh, well, not rotate, but just crop, which allows you to essentially just crop the image. And that is all there is to... Uh, images and all that type of stuff. I hope you guys learned something along the way. Have a great day or night. Bye.